Hey guys, it's Ex Machina here with another breakdown video from my Sunshine Suicides album. This track is called To Be. I'm excited to show you guys this track because this is probably the quickest track that I've made. I made this maybe in like two, three hours-ish. I don't have many elements in here. Um, it's really just the same, same synths, but a lot of it's reversed. If you haven't heard the track already, go ahead and check it out. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. Now, kick and bass, again, is usually the same, so we'll solo that. So, same kick, same bass that I usually use in this whole album, or really the last two albums. And then we have the leads. This is where most of the, most of the track shines here. So you'll have the main lead, which is a sine wave synth, and I have it echoing out using the analog collapse. And then I'll I have it filtering in. And then at the same time, I have this guitar that's reversed but also stretched. And this is consistently going up. Also with the signature sounds. Still the guitar. Yeah. And you can hear that most most of what's building up is just that reverse guitar, and then we have that sine wave synth. Now, besides that, if we go down, we have the snare, and then with the snare, we're doing the typical super massive treatment here. We're just making sure that we just change up the snares. All right, and then we do the same thing with the hats. Here. You can see with the hi-hats, we have the same deal going on. We only adjust the mix on this case. Uh, for the hats, we try to keep it simple because there's so many transients here. You don't want to make it too crazy. Uh, if you do, then you're going to start to tread into a uh, weirder territory. Uh, as long as you can tame it, though, you should be fine. All right. And then we have the vocal elements right here. It's got a little bit of um, uh, interesting sound to it. We have the delay. Got like a, kind of like a buzzy uh, uh, sound to it. Um, and it honestly might be from processing it earlier. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's your vocals right there. But where this track truly shines is the signature sounds here because the signature sounds essentially creeps the song forward consistently, so. It doesn't seem like much when it's soloed, but when it, we go back. Changes the game, you know? It's what gives it that oomph, but also that wavy feel. Now, besides that, we have like the, the crash. Pretty simple. I don't really use crash crashes as often as I used to uh, whenever I'm producing like a different genre I do but uh, for this we already have so many sounds going that we try to keep it uh, you know just sparingly throughout the track and besides that we have the glitchy vinyl as always oh actually this one might not be glitched Yeah, this one sounds pretty normal. So yeah, this one, this one is good. So this is just a regular, no glitched crackle. Probably would have sounded cooler, but you know, 
Who knows? Gotta change it up here and there. But that's it, guys. That's the breakdown for this track, 2B. Uh, again, this is one of the more simple tracks that I have created, um, but also quite enjoyable. If you enjoy those signature sounds, the signature sounds essentially will lead you through the whole track. I feel like I've said essentially like 400 times throughout this whole entire video series breakdown, but uh, yeah, who cares? <laughs> See you guys in the next one.